Unlike most photographers and filmmakers who move towards the attack site, Jonathan's curiosity and instincts were actually in the reverse direction. I knew everybody with a camera would likely be at Ground Zero. The thing that I was interested in, though, more importantly, was this kind of heartfelt public expression, this intersection where people were expressing themselves and their private emotions in public places. Jonathan's work is, to me, uh, you know, he's a cultural anthropologist. He's sort of a sociologist. He was focused on something we were all seeing, um, but maybe we were all just seeing peripherally, and he encouraged us to concentrate on what it was we were seeing. Because I'm interested in not just in a centralized object, but a lot of different things and visual activity in a picture, and that developed for me at Rutgers University, and it's a central focus of my artistic vision. My time at Rutgers was, in many ways, a defining moment. I learned the ability to look at my own work and be self-critical. Jonathan's archive is incredibly important because we are a memorial museum first, and the largest percentage of his work is exactly about that. Um, it's just taking place in sort of grassroots settings, you know, on the on bodega walls and laundromat walls and on construction fences and on the human body itself. I would like people to look at my work, look at the pictures and some of the stories that are involved with the pictures and believe in some way that I've, in a very sensitive way, documented a very difficult time. These pictures are pictures from my heart and my vision about what other people said and did from their heart.